Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Council of Reeds. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. No glory, glory. <laughs> Nitten. Yo. Fommy. I remember you guys. And Dave. There's too many people here. No, the limit's 10 or something. Yes, right? you can fit 10 in the comic shop. Yes, yes, if you're watching, you, you might have noticed that yes, we are back in store. Just Hello. to make sure um, everything is ready to go when we open up. So, yes, by the time you're watching this episode or listening... The comic shop is back. We're back to original hours. We've got all the comics and all the action figures you'll ever need. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Um, but yeah, due to the current government restrictions, you need to make sure you're wearing a face mask and have proof of double vaccination to enter the store. Um, additionally, though, we are still running mail orders and a pickup at the door service. So give us a call, 96012622. Bingo. I remember. <laughs> 02 for other states and plus 61 for outside of Australia. Yes, thank you for that. Because we're gonna get heat them. <laughs> okay. Wasn't there one some dude from Texas listened early on? Yeah. Oh yeah. But wasn't I that so. Texas in Queensland? <laughs> <laughs> Hello Texas Good man. Good old hey, Texas. Texas dude. I didn't. I don't know. Go Cowboys. I don't know if you listened again. I don't care. Yeah, probably not. Who would come back? Hey, should we? We're still here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't count. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay. Long spiel about the reopening out of the way. Let's just get right into the comics. Um. Spidey, Amazing Spider-Man, 75, uh, new jumping on point, um, new creative team, right? Yes. Well, creative team. I open that gate. Large team. Oh, yeah, ah, ah, Show them that gate false Show that art, art, Adam's art. Yes. It's great. You know what I love about this cover the most? That Pete is drawn so remittery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and Ben's drawn more bagley. bagley. Wow, so yeah. Nice. The eyes, definitely. Yeah. And just the roundness of the hand, like everything. Like, look how bulk big he is. Yeah. Oh, he's so much bulkier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very, awesome. Very John Romita Senior. And he's got the oh, armpit right, webs. Yeah. That's cool. I never noticed that. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to get it now for this cover. Ah, oh, it's a great <laughs> cover. Buy two so you can have it on the shelf in its full glory. Yes. Oof. So, yeah. Salesman Dylan's back in already. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, people, on Monday. So it's the new, new uh, uh, era of Spider Man. Uh, the Beyond storyline. I think it's going to be a six-month storyline, um, three to four times a month, um, with multiple writers. What are they? What are they called? The uh, five the times a month. Beyond. Oh, it was web something, right? Was it web something? No, oh. that's the old days. Oh. This is, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, Sounds good. It's like this one is written by Zeb Wells, yes. but you're also in the team you've got Kelly uh, Thompson. Kelly Thompson. Um, Zeb Wells' buddy, I don't know what his name uh, is. Yeah, I can't think. Some new guy. Gleason. On the art, yeah. Uh, and Gleason's writing too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did the same and thing, Superman. Who's the other there? one? Somebody uh, else. You've got Cody Ziegler. Yep. And. Solid and Ahmed. Ah, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. 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 Beyond Corporation. Yeah, so. Yeah. What was the. When Spidey got the new suit around 65. Remember mm-hmm. that? What, was, what corporation. Who was he working with then? That wasn't Beyond, was it? Uh, was no. it Horizon or something? Yeah, yeah. The, the labs and stuff like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, but they, and they were filming him and everything mm. they were doing. So in this, uh, Ben Riley is being employed by this company called the Beyond Corporation. Um, who My favourite part of this... Have you read this yet? I haven't, but spoiler alert. Okay. So um, I haven't read this week. The, the reason why they want a Spider-Man, they want to be in the superhero game, but... <laughs> Ock had... For, <laughs> Ock had uh, trademarked the Spider-Man name when he was in charge nice. under Parker Industries. Yep. So when Parker Industries collapsed, the Beyond Corporation has picked Ooh, up the trademark. Up. Yeah. So Pete's not happy about that. It's my life. You can't own my life. Uh, and like Ben's like, it's my life too. Okay. Yeah. Um, Easy fix. Just take away the hyphen and be Spider-Man. Yes. Spider-Man? <laughs> That's the way you prefer to say it. Human Spider. Spider-Man. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so like the and he's got a team. They're sending him to get alerts. Like, all right, Ben, go over here, fix this job. Okay. Had a bit of a vibe of the Superior Spider-Man. Of it could be done better than just Pete just swinging around. Oh, bad stuff happening over there. Yeah. You know, he's always he's more reactionary. This is more proactive and stuff. And um, and he's got all fancy. The suits all fancy. Yeah, it's my got, favorite part yeah. of the book is um, is there a reason for the black spider? <laughs> No, yeah, we know of, yes. Cool. Um, yeah, so, like, Ben gets hit by somebody, and then he 
like has some exposition about oh I've got some reactive um, padding in my suit that you know negates the impact and Peter's like oh <laughs> okay I haven't got that. yeah <laughs> Well, mine's... I hand-stitched this myself in my basement. Well, I've got the Parker lock, so there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I just keep having bad. It. Interesting. Because uh, oh. I was a little hesitant. Um, it proves to be crucial, that suit choice, later on. But... Yes. 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 Very, yes. very much. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of promise. And it's not a long-term thing, and I don't think they're going to try to tell us... To, you know, they're not teasing to kill anyone off, I don't think. And I know the next cover looks a bit om- ominous. Ominous? You know what I mean? Oh. Um, yeah, but reading the solicits from yes. the previews in a few months' time, it actually looked like it could get interesting where you do have that superior stuff where mm. Pete's you're still getting the Pete story from a different angle because he's maybe stuck somewhere and can't really move too much. Yes, yes, yes. You get a bit of hijinks within the hospital and yep. some more Mary Jane stuff, so we'll see what happens. And yeah, like that, I think you've been pretty clear recently with the push for this issue, there's a six-month storyline and yeah. coincides next year's the... the 60th anniversary of Spider-Man. So it's take Pete away. Bring, six months. Bring him back. We can do a big push of him coming back for his anniversary. Giant oversized special with yeah, you know, 20 it's, covers. It's just it's Superman blue all over again, isn't it? Only you know? 20. 20. Only 20? Yeah, it's only 60. 60. 20. More like it. <laughs> It'll be 20 Venom ones. But um, yeah, no, not bad, not bad. Um, I'll get to it. I'm yeah, intrigued. Um, a little not sold on the... the the rotating riders. Mm-hmm. The Ken, they, last time they did it, you know, 10 years ago, I didn't like the idea too. But all in all, it worked out pretty well. Brand new date era. There were some duds. But even the duds, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that was because they were mindful of trying to do new stuff. You know, they weren't just mining Rhino this week, Lizard next week. Obviously, they did Lizard. But you know what I mean? But it was some of the best Lizard. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Spidey, if you're... Haven't been on the Spencer and you miss Spidey or you want to try something different or you're an old Ben Riley fan, definitely check it out. Yeah, um, perfect jumping on point. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I hadn't read since, like, I think maybe issue 12 of Spencer's yep. or something. Perfect yep. place to jump on. Nice, nice. Okay, what is up next? Superman 78? Superman 78, issue 2. Uh, con- uh, continuation of... Uh, issue 1. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Should I just leave? You don't need me. all night. <laughs> Continuation of the Christopher Reeve kind of movies, Richard Donner stuff. Um, it nails the tone perfectly. Oh, it's absolutely. so fun. Absolutely. Have you read this issue? Yeah, I read that issue. Yeah. Cool, just cool. 100% feels like... The Luther dialogue yeah. alone. Oh, it's fantastic. Alone. That dialogue, he feels like Christopher Reeve, Superman. Yes. I know about the lowest... She f- it doesn't feel like um, Margot Kidder. Yes, mm. yes. She's the mm. least. Mm. But overall vibe of it is... Because like, uh, even the little bit of... I think you haven't got much of them, but the Jimmy and Perry White mm-hmm. is, is right. But yeah, mm-hmm. Lois is a little... Toned mm, down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Not as manic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It captures the vibe of the Superman movies. Mm. It's got Brainiac. Mm. Yeah, and a really interesting take on Brainiac. Usually he's kind of fixated on... Uh, preserving, you know, cities and cultures or whatever. But this time he comes to Earth and he tells everybody you've got invasive species on your planet. This Kryptonian mm. is incredibly powerful. He should not be here. So I'm here to take him away. Mm. Yeah. That's Which pretty cool. Yeah. doesn't seem like it would fit in a 70s no. Superman movie. Yes, it is a bit not like bad guy. Yeah. Punch a bad guy enough. But very cool. It, it, it's very sort of Man, this- Man of Steel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Kryptonians coming up mm. and siding them. For sure. But it was a good book. I like where it's going. And yeah. I think we said earlier, I think I like this more than Batman. Oh, yeah, I, de- I definitely. I like Batman and I, I, can't, I keep swapping. This nails it better. The Batman... It's first, sort of... First issue was okay. Second issue, it seemed way too modern for my liking. Yeah. No, I get that. It was that. very current, shall we say? Mm. Yeah. On its... A, no, I don't want to say agenda is in a bad way, but yes. Yeah. You know what they were, you know. That's just not was not the case that Tim Burton was pushing in nineteen. Yeah, I don't think that sort of Gotham, but we don't know. Yeah, no, it, yes. Where yeah. this is just like yeah, he just yeah. He all the voices, um, like the art, it's okay. The likenesses are good. Though, yes, most of the time, it, yeah. And like the the posing, like he's doing the push up of the yeah. glasses when he's talking over looking over Lois's thing and. Yeah, uh, 
Why well, it might not be the greatest though. Can I say did this Dude, ever yes. you blow your mind? Absolutely, yeah. I loved it. Okay, That's the first time I've seen it. Holy moly! He's but, got the cellophane S from Superman two. two. I did not expect that. Me neither. I did not expect no, that. I did not. It was great. <laughs> wow. One of my fa- my favorite moment from that issue is probably when Lex Luthor he's out of jail, right? Uh, was it parole uh, uh, or something? Yeah. yeah. Um, and he goes to uh, apply for a job at Cord Industries. Yeah. Yes. Right. And he's like, "I'm Lex Luthor. Perhaps you've heard of me. I am the greatest criminal mind of this generation." <laughs> um, and then the the chick is like, "Okay, cool. You've got cafeteria experience." Yeah. So and it's just like three panels of his face just blankly staring. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and it looks exactly like yeah. Gene Hackman. <clears throat> yeah, no, it does. Yeah. yeah. I just love how he's the bit still oh. can't help himself. He's building the suit. Oh yes. yeah, 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 yeah. The bit after the interview was my favourite bit where he just tosses the thing. I'm not going to spoil it, but... The, the wig. The oh, wig? yes, yes, yes. Okay. How's that a spoiler? How's the wig a spoiler? Maybe, it's it's a, the, the, the cover is good in the air, right? And he had a wig in the first movie. Because oh. he didn't want to shave his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Good stuff. What is up next? Darkhold? Darkhold! I did not read this. How was this? I read that. Oh, well, it's got Dr. Doom on it. So, Nitin, you can tell us all about it. Okay. Um... Ooh. I don't know how it's pronounced. Chathom? No, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me. I was going to ask you. You're the. You're the. You're let the me have the Yeah. Yes. You're the library boy. Uh, it's uh, New Jersey. <laughs> Chathom, I guess? Chathom? Oh, yeah, Chathom. Siphon was kind of what I did, but I always say. So, I used to say Rendezvous, so. <laughs> Rendezvous. Well, that's how it's yeah. spelt. It's a rendezvous. Wait, wait, wait. Well, sometimes, yeah, there's words you just read that you never yeah. hear spoken. Yeah, at, at Bankstown Square, oh, there was yeah. a Rendezvous Cafe. <laughs> New Target. <laughs> chiffon. Chiffon, yeah. Chiffon. Yeah. Like, yeah. I say chiffon. <laughs> okay. I think food. Like Why a not? chiffon neg- negligee enemy? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. I was thinking like Cthon, like Cthulhu. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that a K? Yeah, but it's, that's no, it's it's C-C-H. C-C-H. C-C-H-T. It's C-H-T. How's the book? You're talking about the yeah. Sea demons. Well, yeah, the Let's dark hold. You got alpha and you got omega. I think was a sigma. It's like they're, they're bookends yeah. to five one shots. Yep. Dealing with, I guess, the chosen one who yep. uh, are needed to oh. stop Jethon from taking hold in on on our world. I yep. guess yes. the demon. It's an interesting. Yeah. Team of five mm. or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah quite they're, interesting. They're team. called the. Uh, what are they? they got a name. The the dreamer, the hunter, the artist, the stoic, and the fool. Mm. So it's Iron Man, Wasp, Blade, Spider Man, and Black Bolt. Yes. Like Black Bolt being the stoic is Obviously. just the, the perfect. I like. Sp- Spider Man the fool is a bit harsh. No, I just like yeah, Spider Man's oh, the fool. I wasn't Deadpool. I wouldn't have finished. I wouldn't have kept going with the yeah. book. <laughs> <laughs> I do with Spider Man. Um, yeah, good good twists at the end of what they do with some characters. Um, the art I wasn't completely sold on, but I once I read it, like when I first flicked it, I went, "Oh, it's a bit," but it's not too bad. Um, the storyline for the previous storylines that it kind of connects to, I haven't read, but you don't really need to. You can if you want to explore it, but you don't need it. You're not going to feel like you've missed anything. Um, I mean, it's a little heavy on exposition, but mm. it needs to be. There's a lot to yeah. yeah. set up. Especially since it's only really what uh, seven part series, really. Yeah. yeah. So they get a lot of the heavy lifting out of the way. Yeah. Um, oh, I see what you mean. And it's got a C H. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes. I. How long has Scarlet Spider had that look? Not Scarlet Spider. Scarlet Witch. Oh, I while, like her. Yeah. I like this look for her. It's it's a great costume. Yeah. Yeah. Ages. Yeah. Looks. Very pretty much since he's been back, very, sort of thing, yeah. Very, it's got a very gypsy vibe to it, which I dig. Well, the best costume she ever had was the Perez, where he fully went gypsy on it, yeah. In Harry's Return, yes, you know, that was full gypsy. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Scarlet, see, um, don't talk too much television quickly, but the Agatha Harkness spin off TV show coming, which I thought was quite interesting. She getting that ranger, yeah. I I thought that was quite a shock. Yeah, I was like, not, not a bad so- thing, but I don't know if it's... Maybe if it's like three episodes or something, just yeah. a little... doesn't need to be six to eight like they do the others, but yeah, it could be interesting. Yeah. She's good. I think if it's Catherine like in the, um, so. what to call it? in the old ages, that'll be good. Yeah, 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 like yes. the Salem stuff. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, It might be just a time tripper from her throughout the ages, though. Mm, yeah. 
Man. Yeah, so a bit of a change there at the end. It was good to see, you know, interesting to see where that goes. Some of the costume choices, especially with Black Bolt at the end there, was interesting. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love that Iron Man. Yeah, the Iron yeah. Man. I love that kind of techno-organic kind and of... And the yeah. chin. Wow. And the vampire fangs on Blade are just oh, impractical. Ooh. Yes. For a vampire. Really snapping that off. <coughs> wow. Yeah. So yeah, I'll pick up the one-shots and the... Thing. The only thing I was, but after reading, Doom it, I think I was yeah, I'm undecided. Yeah, one's Iron Man, so I'll probably grab that and then see whatever I feel. I guess. Well, it sort of depends who's writing, I guess. Yeah. Too. But um. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, be mm. interesting. Break out your Twilight um, novels. More Marvel D's. Dark Ages. Keep the darkness coming. I think that was the most favorite thing I read this week. It's great. It was really good. It's got a real. It's gonna sound weird. A real '90s Marvel oh, X Men vibe. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Excellent. Even though it has nothing really yeah. have to do with sort of, but yeah. not really, but but just the nature of the story, right? It's yeah, like that's, post-apocalyptic. That's, I'm just reading. I just feel like I'm reading the like yeah, sort of thing. like I'm reading Age, Age of Apocalypse or something. Yeah, yeah okay. Or Onslaught or something like that. But it's a very good book. Yeah, it really is. Um, so in case you haven't heard or you didn't read or you didn't watch us last time, why aren't you watching us last time? Come on. Come on. Uh, so in Dark Ages issue one, there's a EMP, no electricity, no power. And it's essentially a perpetual EMP yes, that no, keeps yep. enveloping the planet, so, so no power. No way around it. Mm-hmm. It at runs... S- at the same time, we lost some heroes during yep. that time, mm-hmm. unfortunately, so there's certain people that won't come back that could help that a hell of a lot. And the event was a long time ago, right? Mm-hmm. Like, good few years ago. Yeah. Now. So Peter's Peter Parker is older. Yep. He's got a little girl who's obviously got some spider powers. Mm-hmm. Um... So now it's essentially the world that they're trying to work out how to live and how to. A little bit of Walking on. Dead vibe. Mm. Definitely I a bit thought. of Walking Dead vibe. And you got yep. their defense system. I think is really really cool. Yes. Telepaths yeah. all over the world. Yeah. That was yeah. So essentially they brought the world. We still like communicate. Spoils, but yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. brought the world together through uh, telepaths and and different ways. But the actual security of their little neighborhood um, with the. Um, oh, spidey webs. The spidey webs, <laughs> which is really, really that well was done. pretty cool. Like, uh, Wakanda's the world sort of capital now. Yep. And then the darkness that's coming through and certain Enough. people mm. uh, pretending to be who they're not and seeing people that have, I guess, gone across to what could be considered the dark side, but they're trying to do it for a greater good. And some characters you wouldn't pick either. Well, I don't they? think they've got a choice in it, considering who rocked yes. up at the end. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah the, the, those last couple of pages mm. yeah. with a couple of reveals in a yeah. row, you're like, oh, 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 I was yeah, already thinking yeah, yeah. it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it finished Absolutely. bang. And yeah, like all the, all the smartest people who are still around are trying to make, mm. well, they, they have made ways to get around no technology yes, by, yes. you know, other ways to power things, yep. which is great, which would, would happen if you're superhero level intelligence. Of course, of course, of course. But yeah, I really want to know what the next issue is because I was... Favorite book of this week? Yeah, it was really good. The art's great. Mm-hmm. The art is. Yeah, man, how cool! Oh, no, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Character yeah. appearances so and whatnot. Yeah. So, nice yeah. design, though. Mm. Tom Taylor. Yeah. Tom Dude's Taylor killing it. Yeah. Killing it. This is where he shines. Alternate. Yeah. Mm. Timeline, alternate universe kind of stuff. No strings. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have to worry about what is happening in fifty other books on the yeah. shelf. That's going to be interesting. Where? Yeah. Where? Mm what Marvel get him to do next yeah. because there is some really good just offshoot minis and different things he could really get yeah. his hands into I think I can't wait for um, Dark Knight to Steel to come out yeah it's a medieval Justice League thing that he's doing yeah can't wait for that spoiler alert there's vampires again it's always vampires mm. like uh, well of course it'd be vampires but everywhere now. yeah it, we, the, vampires are well established as part of the the universe you take the light away at night, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that that last reveal is probably the oh, so, so good, eh? Yeah. That's probably the coolest reveal of the week. Yeah. I, don't, I can't say it's my book of the week, but um, probably the yeah, coolest reveal of the week. Let's just see how they're getting their power. And there's some great designs on everybody, like. Yeah, mm. yeah. But um, who sh- he who shall not be named yeah. at the moment? But just like even on the cover, who you do see, mm. like uh, that the Pete looks excellent. Um, that Magneto thing was just. So oh weird. yes. Um, I can't wait to see more of the Iron Man. Yeah, because like you've seen yeah. just little bits on the cover, mm. and you're like, I want to see this steampunk Iron Man, man. Like, come <laughs> on. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it's excellent. <clears throat> okay, was that the last thing for 
us in general? Think so. Um, Anybody else? Dave, you read anything? Um, I read. A righteous thirst for vengeance. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, yes, yes we Well, that. we all read this. Yes. All, all 50 words of it. It takes about two seconds. <laughs> in saying that, though. It's great. It's yeah. a very Ooh. good book. And you, you but yeah, there's like seven words in it. It stars Wong from Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah. It's very much so. I think what was the actor's name again? Is it also Wong? Wong? Yeah, Benedict Some... Wong? Yes. No, Benedict? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's the double Benedict show. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's good. It's like it definitely tells the story and these still leaves a bit of mystery because you don't know who. Oh yeah, you're intrigued to see what happens next, and, right? Like, ooh, yeah. okay, well, what's just mm. just some mess up bit. Yeah, um, the light bulbs. bulbs. Some, some great, yes. great. Um, You'll see the light bulbs when you see the light bulbs, yeah. but yeah. And it wasn't quite going where I thought it was going to go. No. Yeah. No, no way. Yeah, so it's not a it's not a superhero story. It's just a, a <laughs> crime random, thriller. Well, crime, yeah, crime yeah. thriller. Random dude. No vampires. Um. So yeah. As far as we know. Yeah. yeah. As far as we know. Yeah. Righteous thirst for vengeance, Dave. Nice. Don't write it out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just ruin the book for Dave. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it plots along really quickly. There's not a huge amount of words, but the visual storytelling of oh, it excellent. is really well done. Encapsulates a lot of emotion just through the, the just through the pictures as well. Mm-hmm. Um and all of a sudden, will make you once you get to the end, you go, "Oh, hang on!" Because you've just gone through it so quickly, you will just go back and yeah. flick through it again yeah, and, get, and get a bit more out of it too. So, so they look like footprints to you huh? on the side of the wall. Oh, maybe. Okay, so I didn't take that as the wall. As the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I took it as I thought, the ground. I thought it was the ground at the start. I thought it was the wall, but then I saw this one, and you can see the contrast. That's the ground with a wooden fence. So it's the ground. It's not the wall. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. Disregard. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I was just saying. Va- uh, de- vampires might be off the table. Actually. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Well, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah, judging by that one, it looks like uh, it's... 100%, yeah, it's yeah. but, but that one there... Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's just, the, it's just the, the depth and the perception yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, is this a conveyance issue here? They but couldn't draw. <laughs> Redeemer... I mean, I used to love Redeemer when he was just doing... Just um, Yeah. Re- Reminder? No, Redeemer. Um... He was doing Agent Venom. Yep. He was doing... What was he doing that was really good at the time? Uncanny X-Force. That was good. Yeah, there was another book of... Because mm. Damn it, what was it? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that looking like a war for some people. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. It was... But that, that bit there doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, yeah that. Yeah. You can tell it's a part, but oh, if yeah. you don't look at that... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but yeah, no, I really can see where it goes. Yes, yes, for sure. <sighs> but like, just the... It's the plainness of it. It's yeah, just... or the yeah, you know, it's a lot more common these days in just the image sort of comics, like the slice of life stuff comics. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. It's very much. It was that. very good on that. Like you totally get he's having a crap day with no dialogue, mm-hmm. just the just expressions the... on his face, and just and... the small little turns of like mm. every good deed. Yep, just the the, the half lines and yeah. the can't even get the cigarettes he wants. Yeah. And... Yeah, no, it was it really, really good. good. I'm yeah, really keen to see where it for goes. For sure, for sure. Um, the only other thing I read was Out. I don't know if that's how you say it. Probably Oot. Oot. <laughs> it's, I'm pretty sure it's Out. Oot. Oot. There's Oot. A lot of yeah, it's reading, yeah. So. I say Oot. Uh, which is uh, World War Two, Nazi concentration camp. Mm. And that one's got vampires, Dave. Yes. Uh-huh. Vampire Week. It's October. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Because it, it, the first, like, no spoilers, I guess the first issue is just straight. Yeah. World War Two, prisoner of war, yeah, sort of yeah. stuff. Lots of um, American POWs, yeah. British POWs. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And then bang. Yeah, it's always I supernatural. Spoiler, but that was how it was sold to us. So <laughs> yeah. I knew they were coming. But it's always supernatural aliens or something like well, yeah. out of the world. It's comics. It's comics, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the comic shop. Well, 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 sad. We don't need real world. But I think that's about all I read. Yeah, me too. I think. I read the new issue of the Me You Love in the Dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How to it's... flick through that one, yeah. So it's a <laughs> a love story between a woman and a ghost. Oh, yeah, I don't know about love story. Yes, well. Oh, is it like ghost? It's, no. No. Scary movie? <laughs> There's no pottery? What? It's like scary movie? Oh, no. Oh, it's it's like, paint she paints. She paints oh. exactly what it's... he looks like. I don't know if she knows that's what he looks like completely, the um, ghost, because it, it doesn't look like a terror. It, no, as, it's... Way too many eyes and way too many jaw lines. It's flat out lying to a bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. It's, it's, it is it's, lying. It's catfishing her like a yeah. bro. 
Yeah. So it's working. It's yeah. working all right. It's a weird book. It would have been hilarious if like it painted a horse instead or something like that. I'm the ghost of a horse. What what kind of stuff what? are you into, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> they paint horses. Dave, Dave. Dave. You're the best, man. Yep. <laughs> Let's just hope with some more human contact, Dave can not be as weird. Change. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't change, Dave. Don't, Don't change. ever change. Uh, I, I, so I, w- I would like more answers on how that works, though. Yeah. Yes. Is, is it like in it's Ghostbusters seems... with Dean Aykroyd? Oh, yeah. oh, God. It just seems like he's got physical form, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So... Oh, he's got form, all right. Well, because he, he made her the cup of tea or whatever, yeah. or, so he can definitely touch things. Mm. <laughs> so, where is this going? Well, where is this going? It's, it went it somewhere. It went to the bedroom. Yeah. yeah, that's where it went. Didn't you flip? Oh no, I know that. I'm talking about the conversation here. Oh, oh. hey, I'm being good. You yeah. are being yeah. good. Yeah, like, yeah, a lot being more I can say to it, Dylan. So oh, yeah, I'm interested, intrigued where this is going. Yeah, because it picked up from like they. It's only like five issues too, though. Yeah, like, like, what is it? Yeah. yeah. So there's two more left. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I read Echo Lands after Dylan's recommendation last week. Yeah. Me and Jason both read him. How it's all trippy weeks. is that book? It's so good. It's amazing. I love the. Yeah. I love everything long, about it. The landscapeness of it. The, yes. Just the story just flows. The art is just beautiful. It does make it a little bit difficult for us to find room on the shelf for it, but <laughs> it's as I found yeah. earlier when they all fell off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, no, no damage, luckily. Yeah. I ain't sure. Just in time. A yeah, gory head exploding page. Looks. Yeah. Jason. Show the people. Present. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Our conversation's gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, this book so essentially follows Red throughout the different Echo Lands with her. What's his name? Core? Core. He's mm. awesome. Mm. Yeah, it's like giant barbarian game. Mm. Yeah, um, it's and just the, the artistic style and the changes in the one book. There's a scene there in the marketplace where and uh, Dylan was talking about it last week, where everyone's drawn in different textures, different layers, because they're all styles. from different. I'm guessing Echo is the way, the way it's called Echo Lands. It, yeah, so everyone, each character's got their own style. Some looks like, um, I guess, French Morbius comics. Oh, yeah. I saw some of that. Yep. I saw some. Yeah, old school um, black and whites. Sword and sorcery, sort of, but Conan the Barbarian type. Mm-hmm. It's just a whole different type of art. It looks great. Um, and it's San Francisco, but I don't know. Weird. And reading the... Um, fantasy? Yeah. But modern day, hmm. at the modern same day time. Modern fantasy, sci-fi. Reading the bit at the end here where he's talking about um, looking back to the being and how it all started and what he was doing. And he's like... He just wanted it to be just like an action, like pace, like an action movie. So, and it is. It is just nonstop. Yeah, yeah. It paces so that, well. The landscape helps with that a lot. I don't think you could cinematic. Mm-hmm. You could never do. I don't think you could ever do it justice as a movie. Maybe as an animated movie, you mm-hmm. could. Mm-hmm. But as a proper movie, you, you'd never do it because you'd, it would you'd just lose too, too much. Never get the budget, but you just you couldn't get it to how you'd want it to look. Um, um, love at the end of each episode. He's got his um set list that he listened to while he was doing the art. Oh. There's some mad eclectic yeah. uh, set, uh, a range of music in here. It's called Sounds of Creation, and there is a playlist on Spotify called Sounds of Creation that's got a lot of the ones that's on this first one that I was playing last night, which are really cool. It hasn't got the whole lot, but what I really respect with this guy is when he's talking about the stuff that he listened to, it's not this this song, this album. It's, um, where was the White Stripes one? Or well, it's... Um, Ween, Mollusk, but the gorgeous marbled green vinyl gifted to him by Mick Gray. Like, it, it goes into everything that he's got. And some of them I've got, too. I was really happy with yeah. some of the, uh, the vinyl that he's got. Yeah, so there's a lot of it is, is it's on vinyl. Some of it you can't get on vinyl. Yes. Like, there's a... Uh, there was a White Stripes Live from, from 2015 that just happened to be, like, a bootleg vinyl. Yeah, sure. No chance of... Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in that Spotify um, playlist, but I'm actually thinking, once I get the whole lot, I think I'm going to make my own playlist yeah, yep, yep, uh, yep. with everything that I can find on there. Because there's stuff that's on there that's not there, um, th- that's in the playlist, but not on the Spotify playlist, but I know it is on Spotify. So okay. it's... Um, and the, the, the playlist, the set list, whatever, it really suits with the tone of the... Sure, of, sure, sure. Definitely. Of the art. Like some of the scenes, you're like, oh yeah, this, you can... 
see what sort of music he was listening to. Yes, you, oh, wow. you see the influence. Yeah, yeah. Time. influences the way he's doing the stuff. So that was pretty cool. It's not just like yeah, oh, these songs are cool. Yeah, yeah. I like when artists sort of do that when yeah, they're yeah, drawing. Sure. Like Jimmy Fu does that sometimes. Yep. He writes like he's set a list of what he's listening to while he's doing the, yep. he did like the book. Daniel Warren Johnson actually writes music to it. So yeah, yeah a song for each issue with Murder Falcon and stuff. Um, and that's that's how I read. I listen to music while I read. Hundred percent the same. Like, so, and I actually found I, can, an, I get this yeah. an album from this yesterday, an ELL album that I actually haven't heard. So I just put that on yeah. and I listened to it. It's an excellent album. <laughs> so it was really, really good. So yeah, thanks for doing this. Yeah, I saw um, it went on the shelf like like this. I'm like, oh, I don't want to, you know, even though it is J.H. Williams, yeah, yeah, I do yeah. love these art. Yeah. But I just I'd, had to because of the the landscape yeah. format. Yeah. Well, that was the funny thing. I had no idea about J.H. Williams and what he'd done previously. Mm-hmm. I just picked it up, looked at a bit of the art and went, yeah, I'll give that a go. And I am so glad I did because yeah, I think that's definitely Books of the Week. Mm-hmm. And where that second one finished, oh, we're on for mm-hmm. an adventure. It's, um, yeah, it's on. Anything else? Um, no, that's it. Uh, I also read what I probably would say is also my book of the week, Defenders, issue three. This, Al Ewing, man, the guy can't do any wrong. It just gets better and better. I'm still not sure what's going on. <laughs> uh, this is, right. uh... Yeah, it's Al Ewing for you. <laughs> um, this is definitely a Betty Ross issue. So a lot of Betty's talking throughout. It's, um... A lot of the issue from her perspective, they're going deeper and darker. The Cthulhu style um, villain that's in it looks amazing in this issue as well. There's some extra stuff about a slave that the main big bad's got. Get some more information about that. I don't want to say too much. Um, and then you're also finding out more in regard. Where's the last bit? Uh, yeah, where they just got dropped, and there's a very interesting green door yeah. at the end of the uh, oh. at the end and a large and I'm not going to go any further yep, yep, yep. Yeah. so guys reveal at the end so I'm really interested to see um, where this is issue 4 of 6 I think maybe maybe 5 yeah 5 I think so um, I, I'm really keen to see what Al Ewing does when he t- writes about the Hulk because I think that's got good, good potential um, <laughs> so I'm intrigued to what the next issue does <laughs> I also finished Extremity so this was Daniel Warren Johnson's two books, so 12 issues all together. Uh, first is The Artist, and second issue is The Warrior. The second trade, sorry. Um, I cannot talk this book up enough. From the, the the depth in the story that he creates, the the story ties, the characters, the style of heart that he puts into his books, I cannot... I cannot talk up enough the amount of heart he puts into yeah. stories. Every single story Everything that he does. he does. Every single one. And the the common good, and if... I think if... The, uh, this is going to sound corny as hell, but I don't care. If more people in the world thought like this, God damn it, be a better world. Because, yeah, there's some craziness and there's some blood and gore, but that's the fun of the storytelling. Yeah. But the heart of the story itself is beautiful. And I, as I said, I'm lending this to you because I cannot... Yeah, I can't wait to read it. ...highly enough. The monsters that he creates at the end of this book, I can't really talk too much about because it's going to ruin too much stuff. But um, you see the bird on the cover. So one of the clans that's kind of come together. So you've got warring factions that have been warring forever and a day. But then there's this one clan that's kind of got bits and pieces and bibs and bobs of different groups together. but And they've got these big dragon-like creatures and it's just like the the, the falcon-looking thing on the front man there's a couple of times where i'm thinking it's died and i'm like oh no like uh, i've got heart for a drawing it's it's he it really does produce that amazing oh i love his art so much and it's also very interesting the difference where there's a bit where a bunch of um bunch of troopers come through and kill all these peaceful people and they kind of have a meeting on what they should do with the people and the way that they the way that they go through this the, their, their system of um, penance and stuff like that is uh, again I don't agree but I don't agree with the other way either so it's it's it really makes you really makes you think, I, yeah Daniel Warren Johnson I again cannot speak highly enough of everything that I've read of his um, as I said I've Gone off Deadpool so much recently that 
I just can't stand the guy. But he was he, Daniel Warren Johnson did one of the books in that black, white, and red, and I picked that up the other day. And again, I, and there's nothing a couple of pages. Yeah, but it's got so much yeah. again soul and heart. But it, it's so like and I'm gonna give it it's spoilery. So it's essentially um, breaking the, the fourth wall again for a Deadpool comic, and it's Daniel trying to figure out a good storyline. He's like, oh, what about you fight Wolverine? And he's Deadpool like, breaking the fourth no. wall. <laughs> Daniel Warren no. Johnson breaking the fourth wall, really? Yeah, because well, yeah. yeah, he's talking to Deadpool it's about... De- it's him talking yeah. to Deadpool about what he should do. And he's like, oh no, we've fought him, I've done that a thousand times, what about a team up and all this stuff? And then at the end he's like, well, how did you meet me first up? And it goes back to him as a kid, and his dad buying the comic book for him, and him starting to draw his shit, and I'm yeah. like, oh, it's great. you've never seen Deadpool used like that ever. Because ever! Because it's, it's just... Hi, I'm in a comic book. Well, that, Isn't sorry, that, funny? that was the thing. Yeah. Was there. And that yeah. was the thing. It was like, you know, well, let's do something different because you've killed everyone, you fought everyone. Yeah. And he's got him doing a, da- a whole book about dancing. He's like, oh, no one's going to read this. And he's like, oh, well, when did you meet me? I'm like, yeah, that is. Yeah, just. Can his stuff is real. Very real. Big you time. know what I mean? Big time. That's his, like, no matter how fanciful some of it is, mm-hmm. I think, that, yeah, the yeah. heart and the realness of it all. Very much so. I did not expect to have. Crazy feels reading a book called Murder Falcon. Yeah, just you wait until you get yep. to Murder Falcon. Murder Falcon rules. Because you you read that yet? Yeah. So annoyed I packed that. Up. Man, like seriously, yeah, just. Oh yeah, yeah. So and I've got the I flicked the Wonder Woman, but I'm getting the you guys have yeah. read the hardcover yeah. for that. I wanted that the other day for you. Um, Fantastic, so, Mini, that one. It. <laughs> what, he, what she does with a certain person's spine in that. Holy yes. Hell. Can't wait to see what you guys think. Yeah, exactly right. Really, really keen. Better Rate Bill was awesome as well. Yes. Oh, there we and I'll buy, I got the singles, but I'll buy the trade for that because that was just awesome. The last thing I wrote was to continue on with my Jeff Lemire mangasm. Um, Descender. So Descender was about 2014, 15-ish, I think. Oh, okay, that's why I don't remember anything. That's probably it. why you don't remember <laughs> anything. Um, it is really... So you've got... It's just a, a full-on sci-fi Astro Boy. So you've got Tim21, who is a robot, who is a kind of a descendant kind of story of these travelers that came. It's a um, cosmos of like nine different systems. These big traveler robots came and destroyed and just annihilated the population. So this is now 10, 15 years later, them trying to rebuild and also trying to um, get a bit of a security system if they ever come back sure. and they've found that this this companion robot boy has got the same kind of genetic coding codex as these guys that destroyed, destroyed everything them. so yeah. it's kind of work from there so there's mm. the guy that created all the robots and uh, this kid and the other robots that this driller robot that hates humans just starts annihilating uh, and everything's so then there's it all gone to shit so there's um Scrappers and there's you know big like Colosseum fighting like gladiator gladiatorial fighting robots. Oh. So after all this happened, everyone thought all robots were bad because these big ba- so then they destroyed started destroying all robots. So oh. there was a massive robot cull, hmm. and then goes on from there. So I've only I bought the first two trades. I read the first trade. Um, the art style is really really good too. I haven't Dustin seen most of Dustin Ewan's Batman stuff and everything yeah. like that, but. It, it suits this sci-fi trope so well um, and I've just purchased I think it's got six trays I've just purchased three to five and you guys have ordered number six and then from there I don't know too much because I don't want to know yet but there's another series after that called Ascender mm. where it goes on from so uh, really really keen to see where that goes from because uh, everything he's built up so far um, once again really good feels and there's a bit of there's a bit of, it doesn't really feel heavy explanation too because it's a brand new world yep, 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 yep. Uh, and it, it just it just flows really well Lemire seems to do that really well so um, I've got a day off during the week so I'm going to smash a lot of those yeah, so yeah, I could have a sure. bit more information on Descender next week sounds good excellent yeah, that's about it yeah that covers everything yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. good books excellent heaps of reading done yeah this week okay next up we've got a brand new segment yes um, if you collected <laughs> and bought comics in the 90s chances are you would be familiar with Wizard Magazine. We, yes. um, we've talked about before. The, the yes. early days of the pod, we were trying to talk to yeah. explain it to you how yes. important it was and how cool it was at the time. So, uh, shout out to John. Uh, oh, yeah, John Johnny. was digging, out, uh, digging through some of his old stuff. He came across his Wizards and um, he gave them to us so we could have a look at them for this podcast. Yes. 
So, uh, what's the first issue we got? We're going to work through we, yep. a couple issues that we've got here. Uh, this one is issue 83 from July 1998. Where were you in 1998? Dylan? I was two years old. Yeah, I thought they might say that. <laughs> 1998, God, I saw my first international band, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was The Offspring. Oh, X, yeah. X now on the Ombre Tour. Wow. wow. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> I was in year eight. Year eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's easy to remember. Year whatever 10, year I think. Yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. I've been year 11, so. Yeah, year 10. Um... So this one is, uh, the main article is the top oh, nice. 10 sexiest women in comics. <laughs> yeah. Probably not something you'd get away with these no. days. You've got awesome, what's that, Adam Hughes? Yes. No. Uh, uh, fold out? Yes. And he's fold out, but the art for the article is uh, Joe Michael Lindsner. Yes, which, yeah. fair enough. He's a great artist. Lin- Lindsner. Lindsner. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So all the, all the sexy ladies of the day. <laughs> Which wizard? Who, well, wizards, you know, opinion. They knew their market. I'll say that. Um, all right. What do? What, what all right, do we, well, first of all, just uh, are we going to get to the ladies? Because I need, yeah, I need a massive okay. disagreement when we get to them. Okay, well, we'll go to the ladies first. It is the cover story. It is the cover story. It's, go, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's written on so there. So their top page. Hey? On there. All right. Oh, we went through there to talk about some stuff. I can't read your writing. Take your notes. What page am I looking for? Thirty-six. I want to know what Johnny's been cutting out. There's yeah, the real man. questions. <laughs> I think it looks like Michael, yeah, Michael Michael Turner or J. Yes. Scott Art. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be J. Scott for sure because the uh, yeah. Crimson yes. Battle Chasers uh, Danger Girl. Yeah. Um, what page did you say? 36. 36. Okay. Oh, According to Wizard in 1998... <laughs> The top ten sexiest women in comics. It feels wrong every time you say. Yeah, that. I was gonna say this is not us. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 don't, just... we don't. We don't. We don't agree with objectifying these fake drawings like this. No, um, I think they're wrong. Oh, <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Number ten, Psylocke. Number now, ten. Number ten, Ty Psylocke. Come on, come on, come on. Show the pictures. Like the, the art looks nice because it's. John my. Lindsner. I, I don't know if I can show all There's these a couple. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying show all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger can stay where she is. I'm not going to show you any more than this one. Yeah. Um, Tiger yeah. can stay where she oh, is. I don't know. Mystique's dropped something. She's just going to pick it up. Yes. So number nine is Rainmaker. Uh, do you even know who Rainmaker is, Dylan? Absolutely not. I thought you might say that. Rainmaker was one of the girls in Gen 13. Oh, yeah. I've heard Gen 13. I must say... I think some of Gen 13 has been absorbed into DC. Yes, universe. yes. Well, it, yes. I must say, also, Wizard, shame on you. Rainmaker's in this because of her sexual orientation, and that's about all. Really? Oh, for sure. So that's just fetishized. Well, that... Pocahontas yes. meets Chasing Amy is what she was a Native American and a, a, a lesbian. So, lesbian. So, you know. Wow. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> I know. Different time, different time. Because mm. she's not even the sexiest chick in the book. She's but personally, Roxy every team, day of yeah. the week. Little emo we girl before emo alternative would have been back oh, in the yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had a short little bob cut with, hair. The, with the pink things. Mm. Oh, yeah. She was my favourite out of Gen 13. So, pff, disgraceful wizard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sil- in here. Like, in there, okay. Uh, uh, Pocahontas meets Chasing Amy, and that, and she shoots electricity. Native American Sarah Rainmaker may be one of the more controversial women in mainstream comics due to her alternative lifestyle. In brackets, pss, she's a lesbian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. But so in that, doesn't stop this Gen 13 from being A, the wait, perfect wait. Howard Stern guest, oh, and seriously. B, the kind of girlfriend every single male comic fan on the planet would trade his collection for. But you get... I want to trade shit. But she don't want you. Yes, yeah. 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 And she's yeah. Yeah. Trade shit. Hold on, the way they wrote that, it's like, oh, she's lesbian. Even that doesn't stop her. Like, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Terrible, bro. That's not how you write, bro. Terrible. No wonder you're not in business anymore. <laughs> Just for that. That one thing. <laughs> yeah, one, wow. Cancel. No, I know. Been there. Six years before Terrible. you went out of business. Terribleness. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, number so, eight, Mystique. Well, she could be any number. Yeah. Mystique. Mm, mm. Really, she should be probably top five at least. Oh, yeah. Because... Yeah. Well, she, she should be, be one. And she just, she is pretty sexy. Thank herself. you. That's what I'm getting at. 
She can be any of the yes, top 10. She should be number one. But I, it, it's, it's a stupid list. Yes. And I'm pretty sure we argue about this list back in the day. Of anyways. course. Most of these, oh, oh yeah, I would have complained the exact same thing <laughs> back then. Just uh, who else we, we have <laughs> Number seven is Witchblade. Of the time. Well, she had a metal bikini was her costume. Yes. Yeah. Um... How fan service he does. Which is a metal? I never thought it was metal. It was an alien. Yeah. It was an alien. alien. Yeah, it was, yeah. A it was a gauntlet. It was magic. It was magic. Comes out of a gauntlet. Yeah, but not like metal. I thought it was just like no, some metal. biological no, it's metal. alien it's, skin. It's, like, it's magic. I thought sure, it was magic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more yeah, magical. Mm, whatever. But it's it's metal, an intro. Sure. It's, it's one of those. Okay. If in, I went. Yeah. It's going to feel like a can. <laughs> Which blade? Yeah, it was one of those. Costumes that only women wear, apparently, because yeah. it showed more skin than not. Darkness, hello. Uh, you know, I wish Storm could find a higher rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you show that bitch, Joe. You no. can't show anything enough. No, this page is a this page is no, no. Oh, maybe maybe which blade? If you hide yeah, the storm, which blade? Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> which blade? The female darkness. See, it's a metal bikini. Yeah, and it was. Like... Oh no, no! If darkness had the same costume in which which blade, then we wouldn't be talking. Which darkness had a full. Buddy, Body you, you didn't see, yeah. you didn't see half skin. the face. His hair came out though. Yeah, yeah. 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 after letting his voice. Just a winter soldier. Yeah. Luscious hair out. What darkness are you thinking of? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's hentai darkness in yeah. his own. <laughs> she was a name. police officer too, though. So yes. So oh. she can handcuff me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what were we just talking about not fetishizing <laughs> things? <laughs> I knew this article was going to get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Number six is Storm. Should okay. be punk oh my god! Oh, oh no! no. These comments are terrible. Can we not read that? Let's not. We pass around. We'll read let's it not, after. Let's not read that. Yeah, we'll read after. Okay. <laughs> you is really it... want it though, don't you? Is it gonna... It's terrible. It's not yeah. even like terrible in that way. Oh, oh okay. okay. Oh. It's read just. It. Yeah. I... What if RuPaul was really a woman? Whoa! What? Man. What? Whoa. what is that of a that makes comment? Sense. Yeah. Just, what are you saying about the drawing then? Yes, I, that's just weird, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So number five, wrong. She-Hulk. Yep. <laughs> Angelo would have thank big you, problems with you. this. Uh, sh- number one, if you ask Angelo. And mind you, for <laughs> that latest Legends best face mm. yep. looking figure I've seen in a long time. So yeah, I'm a big fan of She-Hulk. Mm. She's cool. See the Titania, the chick plant. She's Titania. Yeah. Titania. She oh. looks good. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen her. Uh, number four is Tigra. Yes. In a, a, a very in strange a, No, pose. no, she's oh, in a cat pose, and yeah. we will move on from there. Oh, bro. Yeah. She's, she's, this is terrible. She, needs to she may have had some catnip. We don't know. Awful. She needs I mean, a, it's, it looks... It's awful. I'm not going to get it. If no. you remember people a while ago, there was that Spider-Woman um, cover that everyone hated. Marlon Minara did that cover. There's nothing on this. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. Like and it, Racist Wizard, too. Oh, no. Oh, really? No. no, no. no. Whoa. Women with this much body hair are usually restricted to East German Olympic teams. That's funny. Like, bro. Jesus. You can't and, say and, that. And really a joke for a time, too. Yes, yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not I even... Know. East Germany didn't even exist no, then, in 1998. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, no, but I must I was, say, I'm a big fan I think that was when the drugs debacle happened and that. Where has she been? Steroids. She's in stuff. What's she in? Really, East, East, East Germany didn't exist in 1998. Mm, East Germany ceased Gorn. to exist when the Berlin Wall yeah. fell down. Like a decade before this. Mr. Gorbachev. Yeah. Because uh, I was thinking, well, like, I think they go in trouble for drug. That was... Yeah, yeah, that, that was... That. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. Uh, now three is Dawn. Which is basically just to make Lindsner happy because it's his character. Yeah, for sure. That was part of the deal. What is Dawn? She's a uh, sexy redhead. Cool. Not yeah. said. I, uh, I, oh. I honestly don't know... What her power set yeah, is, or what her deal is. Let's just say Does it really matter? It's like Vampirella and Red Sonja. Just... We'll just uh, say that's Jean Grey, <laughs> and move on. <laughs> she better than Jean Grey. Oh, well, actually, Black Queen. Where was Black Queen, Jean Grey? Yeah. Mm. That should have been in there. Uh, anyway, number two is Vampirella. Vampires, Dave. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Vampirella. I know she's got... She's mm. got the costume. It's just the skippiness. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, it's right. right. It's right. a bit tacky. Give me yeah. Supergirl over here. I mean, um... Hey, like... Oh. Is the one in white? Power Girl? Power Girl. Mm. I think she's wearing a bit more than which blade is wearing. Mm. <laughs> just by a little bit. Ow. Just, just, yeah. Just touch. And number one is Catwoman. And I think that has a lot to do with the Jim Ballant As costume. The, very much of the time. The, oh, yeah. The, the thigh-eye boots and the painted-on pink. The whip pink, and the... Uh, purple. Yeah. 
latex, whatever. Well, but it's, yeah, Madumbo. It is what I think of when I think of Catwoman, to be honest. Mm. It's just that's you know, yeah. 90s Catwoman is Catwoman. Like, it looks so much better. You know, because, like. Halle Berry, me personally. But nah. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than this stupid goggles look she's had for the last yeah. decade. Yeah, the. Yeah. Anne yeah. Hathaway started that crap, eh? No, it was before, before that. Yeah, oh, she was yeah. Down, goggles. Before that. Down Cook, when Down Cook yeah. was doing the book. That's yeah. when it first came about. Oh, when she's. Doing the skydive picture. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, that was terrible. What else we want to look at this wizard uh, back in the time machine? Let's go. Uh, two, 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 83, the casting call. Every okay. episode. Had a... Yeah, so every issue had a casting call of, of a certain comic book and what who they think would whoever be. Whoever was crazy at the yeah. time and big at the time and kind of looked like that person, then they'd call. So I think so this one's. Dead. Call, not catch, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> These so, days. On the internet, these would be called like fan casts. Or yes, fan yes, casting. yes, yes. Well, this is fan casting. There are yeah. a bunch of fanboys in this yes. magazine. Yes. So Deadpool, folks, guess who Deadpool would have been? You or would who? never guess it because it. I don't even makes... know who that is. I don't think. Wow. I can understand that. Yeah, but... yeah. I yeah, tried, I don't think I tried I to explain that. it the other day and I failed. Oh, Black Flag. Yeah, I thought you had good taste in music and you saw where He's good music Black came Flag. from back in the day. No, okay. We'll talk about that afterwards. <laughs> so oh, yes, Henry, Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins. Um, As Deadpool, folks. And I just can't see that at all. No. Not with the current Deadpool. But even then, like... Yeah, yeah I don't know. I didn't really... He's too serious for Deadpool, mm, Yeah. He's done some goofy stuff before, but not yeah. to lead a movie as a character like Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. To be fair, he wasn't as fourth wall breaky Deadpool no, as he no. is yeah. now. He was a bit more in line with like Deathstroke. Yeah, he was just he was a joker. He was a Spider Man. Yeah, he's Spider Man. Yeah. He was so, a Spider Man. Ex Spider Man. So Nitin made this call a bit earlier. I want to ask the question: Out of that current list of characters that we're looking at, how many are in current Deadpool books? None. There's, there's yeah, not a page after it. There's recognize. not a page after no. it. There's like Hydra Bob or something. No, no. Cool. No, I don't recognize that. That's what I thought. So yeah, we have Deadpool as Henry Rollins and. Yep. Or you've got a magazine. We've got uh, Anne Henny as Blind Alfred. I'm not sure who she is. Oh, she's the old lady from Liar Liar, it says. Yeah, I must say... I thought you meant a character. Oh, Blind Blind Al. I don't like, I read Deadpool. She's the, the, she's the chicken in the movie. The movie? I didn't watch the movie. movie. I, didn't watch the movie. I tried to watch the movie. Foxtel told me not to. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she was probably one of the better characters yeah, in the was. movie, actually. Like, um... Who is she? It's, um... A little different... Different? <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Um, I've already got to stick myself in enough trouble. Yeah. Um, but she was she was cast really good. Yes. Better than Domino. Next character. Um, Please. Wilfred Brimley as Dr. Kilbrew. That's it. It's like, he's chubby yeah, and got a white moustache. Done. Well... What happened over there? Uh, <laughs> he was trying to open his uh, bottle of coke. Earlier, but he's staring at me. Live <laughs> as we're recording this, and it's like. I thought he was taking another phone call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God. God. Yes. Put Wilford Br- If it was an old man, they cast Wilford Brimley in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the time. Especially in any mustache. movie. Yeah. yeah. Any movie. Um, Weasel. Weasel was Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. I don't know any of these characters. Um, you know the next one. Uh, Michael Jeter as Patch. Is that Tom Jeter's brother? Um, Same thing. I don't know any of these characters or people. Next. Nicole (laughs) Eggert as Expedia. Expedia? Expedia? Who is she? I want travel deals. (laughs) 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 Isn't she the one from um, Under Siege? First one? Yeah. Yeah. Second one. No, 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 no. Is that her? No, no, no. Is that the other She's one? She's got a weird name. Oh, yeah. No, that's not her. Oh, you don't think Eggert's a... No. Uh, no, it's Elenic. Elenic, yeah. From yeah. Baywatch. Yeah. Hey, yeah, well, they're all from Baywatch. They're all from Yeah, well, that's bro. not her. Different chick. Uh, Kate Winslet as Siren. You can't afford her nowadays for that for a side role like that. A squinner. Yeah, I don't think she's that expensive. She makes a lot of crap movies. <laughs> um, she was so good in extras. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Chris Jericho as T-Ray. <laughs> <laughs> like Chris Jericho, what? like, they're like obviously we want a wrestler, we want someone big, and long hair. But like Chris Jericho's not even big for a wrestler. What do you mean triple H back then? Hundred percent. He fit T Ray so much yeah. better. Like Jericho's not that big. Anyway, probably better actor than Triple H. True. I've seen Blade Three. He's terrible. Yeah. 
But yeah. I've seen Fat Jericho the last two years. He's not acting. Whatever. <laughs> Who's that? He's, he's, he's acting, pretending to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> and he's been acting as a uh, rock and roll singer for about f- freaking 15, 20 years. Because he can't do that either. It definitely is he's bigger, He's terrible. Though. Oh, he's massive. He looks like he ate Chris Jericho. <laughs> Have you seen that picture, the picture now of Mickey Rourke hitting him at the thing? It looked like old Chris Jericho yes. hitting young Chris Jericho. <laughs> Man. Hey, look, hey, I, I, I love Chris, best, uh, uh, my favourite wrestler when I watch wrestling. I ain't no body shaming, but Chris, and I also don't mind a beverage, but Chris Jericho, you need to have a look at your yeah, alcohol consumption. Because yeah. it's not, he's not that he's overweight. It's alcohol. He's, yeah, yeah, it's right. He's, oh, it's scary looking. Anyway, enough reading back Chris Jericho. Uh, ben Cross's Overboss Dixon, whatever. <laughs> Who are these people? Well, they were the Deadpool supporting cast. When Deadpool was actually an you interesting comic still- and had storylines instead of just be a meme. I think maybe talking about the zombie. actors too. Oh, <laughs> but, but it's a double, no that. double meaning. Um, and lastly, Robin Tunny, Tunny as Thai food Mary. Thai food? Thai food. Thai food? <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Thai food! <laughs> Thai food, bro. Oh, that's, new, that's Is it. Is this Thai food to me? That's it. We're opening Jim Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> We're opening a new uh, I was distracted by um, Robin's Photograph there. Yes, I would be too. <laughs> Who played Typhoid Mary in the shitty Electro movie? She was um, in it? Yeah. Oh, that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her name, but you see That's in other terrible. movies. The only really? thing I remember about that movie is that I had a cheap bootleg version from Cabra Matter. Is it a Chicken Fast and Furious? Oh, I don't know. My dad said watched it once. Yeah, I watched it once in the cinema. I like... have since brought it on DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Never watched it. Neither have ever seen inside a DVD player. But you know. So no yeah, problems. guys and gals, there was some good ca- castings. <laughs> or some... cool. This one was not good at all. Well, there's a one coming up later that's got Thor, which is just atrocious. I don't know who the dude that mm. picked to be Thor is. Ah, but... yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, and just get ready for the Avengers one. Oh yeah, well. yeah. yeah. What uh, else do you want to look at? Custom toys. We've got top 10 Just, picks. What else you got? Uh, let's go with... They did Last Man Standings. Yes. Oh, we yeah. got one more. Spice well, 25. Time for, one more. time for one more? Yeah, time for price one guide. more segment. Oh, price guide. Price guide. Price guide. Alright, so my mate just sent me a picture of Carnage number ones since the movie's just come out. And it is... Oh, First Appearance Carnage? First Appearance Carnage. Yeah. Spidey 341, uh, 361. 61. Um... Do we want to have a check on how much around it's going for? Do you think at the moment, and then we'll check against how much yeah. It or works. how much is it currently? Do we want? To, do you want to guess now that, or just guess the old one? Oh, no, okay. how much is it? It's seven fifty now. Yeah, someone, someone's asking seven fifty on eBay right now that, I saw, right. that he sent me, and he said, "Holy hell, what's going on here?" I picked mine up a few years ago because I had a second print for like ninety, and it's in good nick. Yep. Mm. Um, so in 1998, what was Amazing Spider Man 361 first appearance of Carnage? Do you need your glasses, Jason? Do you mean <laughs> I've read Wizards many a time with Squint. Thank you very much, sir. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the print is so small on this page. $10. $10, folks. <laughs> $10. Now, this is 1998, it's like 23 years. I know, but ago. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, well, since we're in the Carnage Venom. Venom, uh, Spidey 300's gone so ridiculous. Oh, so, man, that is just yeah. offensive. Yeah, so it's five, six, seven hundred these days. Oh, close to more. a grand, bro. And that's not CGC'd either, mm-hmm. so oh, wow, what okay. are we looking at in 98? 1998, Spider-Man 300. First appearance and origin of Venom, $55. Oh, 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 oh. You chuck a zero on that and you're getting a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, big time. I think I actually bought one for like fifty bucks. Yeah, that was a super yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. why I bought, what would have bought one. I think I've got one or two copies of it. Like after ninety eight, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember yeah. last time. Last time the shop had a copy was. I think I bought one. Of probably 10, 15 years ago, and I think they were about the hundred, hundred fifty, ninety years. Yeah. And like to be fair, the superheroes and comic books have gone up in stature. No, in no, no, last... no, no, no. That's not why. It's well, not that the yes. comics are going up. The speckies are going up. Oh, yeah. Because of... Because I only buy it first appearance. Yes, because of movies and yeah. such. But That's like, what caused you know, the speculation. They wouldn't care about to come out. the first appearance of, I don't know, someone that's not in a movie. But then you got... Well, that's it. Like, look at Kang for, like, Avengers number yeah. one. Well, like, Avengers number eight. I think Kang was, like, six. Avengers months. number one, you would get that... It would cost you several hundred thousand dollars to get now. Mm. 
you could buy it with relative pocket change back in 1998. Yeah. yeah. What did we say it was? Avengers, like, isn't it like <clears throat> two grand or something? Something like something that. Like that. Amazing fantasy, amazing fantasy number one sold for like three million late recently, no, 15, right? Fifteen. Fifteen. I mean, sorry, I do it a lot. Yeah. Amazing fifteen sold for like three first million case, recently. First Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Twenty-five grand for Amazing Spider. For amazing Fantasy fifteen. When well, I think yeah. Amazing Spider-Man number one in there is only like eighteen grand. Yeah. yeah. But wow. twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, Avengers is by far the biggest multimedia thing going over the last mm-hmm. decade, and the first Avenger comic. You- 1998, $2,100. Yeah. Relatively, that's pocket change. Yeah. You can buy seven of them. Yeah. This is this is pre-CGC too. Yes. Mm. Like, CGC only came around a couple of years later, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Tom Plus, Tom. going back to my angriness around the top ten females, no Red Monica. Battle Chasers was blown During up the day, marks. 100%. Like, no, Battle Chase is the number one book yeah, in that's that what book. Yeah, I mean. Like, during this day, how, how, and where's uh, Abby? Yeah, from Danger Girl, Abby Chase stuff. Yeah. All right, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> top 10 creators. Yeah, top 10 creators, that's fair. Here we go. 30, okay. 139. Let's see how much has changed and how many people don't do any work anymore in comics. <laughs> yep. All right, artists. Number one, sadly, does not do comics anymore, Michael Turner. He has passed away. Um, yeah. There's a very good oh, reason I'll, for that. I'll, I'll allow that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Jim Lee. Oh, uh, Jim Lee does a lot of covers. And he's running... Ah, he has an executive role. Yes. Oh. He's trying he's to... He's got an office job. A lot of people on this list doing a lot of covers. Yes. Joe Mad. <laughs> <laughs> Played uh, video he, games. Yeah. yeah. Made a video game that and, apparently wasn't that good. Yeah. Well, admittedly, he was playing video games then because the goddamn book never came out. Yeah, right. <laughs> so not changed. Well... Just before you go on, in the next issue I think we're going to look at is a, a, a feature on Joe Mag. Is that the one where the controllers are all over his floor? Yeah. And you're like, oh, now I know where my book is. And then, yeah, it's a picture <laughs> of him. He's playing video games yeah. in his like, little room or and whatever. And there's like a, a satin or yeah, so, cast, whatever yeah, yeah. the Seeker was. Like, yeah. what we're we talking about, just put a picture of that. Yeah, out. and you're like, this what? I remember getting having that issue yeah. going, this is why I don't get battle chases, yeah. clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Um, J. Scott Campbell has not drawn an interior comic book in... Oof. Wait, what year was this? No, did, did, didn't he do a couple of pages or something recently? Venom 300, wasn't he? Did yeah, a couple of pages in that, did. maybe? Oh, okay. I'm sure he did. Yeah. But, like, he does yeah, it. nothing. This. But otherwise, I think yeah. the last time he did a book was when he did issue zero of Wild Siders back in 2002. <laughs> yeah. and besides does that, a shit ton of covers. covers. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. That's the thing with Campbell that annoys me the most. Like, Jim Lee, okay, cool. He's, you know, he's got the money hmm. and he's got an executive job. Campbell, all he does, he works heaps. Yes. He still draws tons every day. Just covers. Stop painting him to do covers. You know what annoys me, though? Like, you've got so much potential drawing females. Why don't you do it more? No. <laughs> why, <laughs> you just, that'd be, that'd be like, why wouldn't you t- go towards what your strength is? That'd be silly. Uh, just swap out the costumes. It's um, the same yeah, woman. Yeah, that's yeah. all Cinderella. I was thinking about. Oh, it's like, uh, well, the Xenoscope, the fair, grim fairy tales that, from Xenoscope, they were pretty much... Yeah. Just swapping the costumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can change the colour of the hair yeah. and put some dwarfs around it. Number five, we've got Alex Ross. Still ah, killing still it with his covers. covers. But even by then, he was not doing interiors. Yeah. He's done no. like three oh, series yeah. in his whole yeah. yeah. He's doing Marvels? Yeah. I think, I think he, didn't, oh, he wrote series. that. He yeah. just covers, yeah. covers and designs. He, I think he was a perennial top ten of course. throughout the entire run of Wizard. Just the nature of his work. Yeah. Yeah. He does a full. I mean, you're painting it. Yeah. It would take you years to do an issue sort of thing. It's not. Just fake digital that yeah. looks like, painted. It's painted. Kingdom Come came yeah. out. Everyone else. Well, Kingdom Come was actually you know George Perez, wasn't it? No, no, that was him. Yeah, I was think it's something else. Yeah, but that took away. I would like uh, to see Alex Ross do something interior yes. again. Yeah, um, like when if you see his but, art, his pencils, he has great pencils. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Um, next is Adam Kubert. Um, Adam is drawing Wolverine pretty regularly at the moment. Uh, he gets a fill mm. in here and there, but mm. hey, even back in his prime. Mm. Kubert would do three issues and then be off for a filler. Mm-hmm. What was he on? Hulk at the time? Yeah. yeah. That's just the way the Kuberts were. Marvel managed them perfectly. Yeah. They um, do the work. When they went to DC, DC didn't clearly know how to manage them and Book their late. books were late constantly. Because I think they just felt like, we signed them, put them on it, put their books out. Yeah. 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 They need the in the can. Um, followed by number seven, and Andy. Andy did that Superman stuff last year. Oh, yeah, Up in the Sky. Yeah. With, uh, was that Tom King? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you reckon they would they would have a they'd be dirty on each other? Like, One was ahead yeah. of the other. If, is in? <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Oh, it's tough. They're both good in their de- same way. They're similar but different. Depends yeah. on the character. I feel because I remember when they did uh, Adam. I probably seen Wolverine, Wolverine and, and something else. So 
It was mm. Wolverine and another character, and they like one was Andy and one was Adam. Oh, it might have been Batman and Superman. Batman and Superman, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, Adam was Batman. Yeah. Um, number eight, Chris Piccolo. Piccolo. Oh yeah. Works. Still got he's, he's probably yep. been he's, the most steady worker yep. in, in this in the twenty yep. odd years. He's one of my favourites. Uh, number nine, George Perez. Unfortunately, he's retired. Sort of retired. Yeah, because uh, age health and issue. health issues. Eyes, yeah, maybe, yeah it's his eyes. Yeah. Um, number ten, Lionel. You, Lionel. That stuff. Stuff pretty regular. Yeah, pretty so regular. Out of the yeah. top ten, three are still working. Yeah. Which is a yeah. That's fine. Like, and yeah, you can't have the same. No, no. New artists come up and then. Was it Secret Invasion? Yeah. yeah. It was so good. Now, writer wise, <laughs> um, man, same thing though. A lot of these guys aren't doing a lot of great, a lot of stuff. Number one was Kurt, Kurt Berserk. Confusing. <laughs> Kurt Berserk. Um, not done much for a long, long time. He's just one of those writers that fell out, I mm. think. You know, the next generation of editors brought up the guys that they brought, they came up with, and the yeah. writers, and the guys they worked on the indie scene. He's just old school. He just got left behind. Uh, Joe Kelly, um, went and created Ben 10. He's rich. Um, <laughs> well, I assume richer than most yeah, of these. So. Uh, Grant Morrison, still does comics occasionally yeah. when he needs to buy some more acid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's been... He needs to buy more acid with which to write more comics. Yes! Yeah. Well, he was very I'm not disagreeing blatant. with That's this. That's what he first did with his Invisibles money. It all just went on acid. What his comes, first few jacks. What comes first, chicken or the egg? Because he needs... <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sure he was doing the drugs to write Invisibles. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Once he got paid, he was able to buy more. more drugs. <laughs> to write more Invisibles. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> um, number four, Mark Wade. Um, he doesn't... Now and then, not as much as he not should. He, he, had a, year. he hasn't done yeah. He had a pretty cool story in the new Wonder Woman anniversary that came yeah. out this week with um, which Garcia. is the first thing he's done at DC in a long time because he had that story in the FF. Yep, that was the only thing, and that yep. was only a very small story. Mm-hmm. Well, because he's, he's besides that, before that was strange. He's editor in chief at one of the smaller publishers, oh, I think, okay. and also getting sued over that. So oh, cool. he's been a bit busy. Excellent. Uh, Steven Seagal making terrible movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, folks. It's not the same person. I wish it was the same person. I see Steven Seagal. 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 He also <laughs> right, made Ben 10 money. Um, next, Garth Ennis. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. Garth Ennis. Garth Still Ennis. writing to this day. Mm. But he looks like a 15 year old kid there. Oh my goodness, he does. It's hey. a terrible oh, wow. picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what am I looking? He's got a hat on. Right there. 15 year old oh, kid wow, is going to ask does. you to buy him a six pack <laughs> out in front of the bolo. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I would say it. But then once you buy it for him and you drive away, he throws one at your car. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Uh, Peter Irish. David, still working like a machine. And writing awesome stuff right still. now. That Simeon Spider Man Crossroads is excellent. So Matt Wagner, ooh, geez, he doesn't do much these days. No. He's writer artist, but. I guess oh, Grendel came back last year, mm. so I guess he did do and some stuff. And there was some Grendel in the in the previews. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's been back yeah. a bit. James Robinson, ah, uh, some DC work and some oh, Marvel yeah. work constantly, but also he's the type of guy that has always dabbled with the TV side of things. Yeah. So when you're not seeing him do books, he's clearly working TV. Yeah. He's a great writer though. Yeah, he's generally very good. Uh, and number ten was Christina Z, who Bro- has done nothing I think since her Witchblade hype back in the day. Nothing. But, I was um, just talking so about good. earlier. Yeah. If you were to have one now, you'd be looking at people like we were saying before, like Donny Cates, oh, Jason Aaron, Tom Taylor, if you just, Tom Taylor, yeah. um, Sadarsky, yeah. oh yeah, Tom uh, King, Lemire. Uh, Lemire. I think Daniel Warren Johnson as well would be up there at the with current stuff. <laughs> See, but that's nah, no, that's, yeah, the popular yeah, opinion. No I don't way. think so. Not even with like the recent stuff he's done with. Nah. Marvel and DC? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think he gets the attention he okay. deserves, honestly. Yeah, he, uh, he wouldn't make yeah. the top 10 on so either would, side. Would Innocent stuff still be there, you reckon? Or? No. no. He doesn't do enough. Innocent would. And it, no. I don't think he's not, he doesn't generate, yeah. you know, because it was all. Cause back it's in, not a scam. Not plus, a scam, but you know, the, yeah, all the guys like, are selling oh, the books, like, selling oh, the thing. And, and, yeah, and the thing with sure. Wizards was they did have a very heavy Marvel bias. Yes. Oh, well, just in general, it depends who was buying the ads that month. Yeah. Like, the bias was in the book. You didn't have to go look too far into it. Yeah, you can see who paid the money. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, there's a nice big vertigo ad. DC must have got to run this month. <laughs> I don't see much Marvel stuff at all yet. Ah, yeah, a bit, a bit of yeah, like, uh, um, Hickman would probably be in the top ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and also these days they'd be pushing the newer generation, not just new generation writers, but like. Oh, so there'd be six females in there. Ah, oh, they, they would definitely go. Be a bit more widespread. The artist one I think would be the most interesting because we don't. I've said it for the longest time since the death of Wizard, we don't have superstar artists anymore. Because mm. yeah, it cons- coincided the death of Wizard. Well, it was happened before the death of Wizard, but once Wizard sort of already became, uh, um, the industry switched from the image artist centric to it was writers. Yeah. You know, uh, early like, mid two thousands, the Benders and the Millers. Also, and the image, image, yeah. image had that a lot to do with it too. Cause yes, it was image with a artist driven yes. company. Yep. And then they switched their thing. When, too. That, when, Once when, they they, blew when, it when out. the creators yep. left and they did their own thing and they started, there was a decline. And I think Kirkman, I would say, was probably one that did the resurgence of uh, well, image. It, it, it's, I always put it down to Valentino because he took over as editor in chief mm-hmm. and that's when they went way more indie style. Yes. Because yeah. Invincible is, was the only superhero book that I put Yes. Because yes. his sensibilities were proper indie stuff. Mm hmm. You know, he did the Guardians of the Galaxy, he did Shadowhawk, yeah. but he, he was a, a real indie guy. Where the rest were just Marvel yeah. Marvel guys. Yeah. Um but we just don't have like who would who would you say would be the number one artist? It is hard, isn't it? Like in just the general populace. Yeah. yeah. The writers I could see that, a top ten list easy. Art. Yeah. That depends on I guess. Stegman I think would be maybe high Bagley. in the last couple of years. Bagley. Yeah. Bags probably. Dude, Dude, would be up there. would have dropped off because he hasn't been doing Definitely mainstream stuff. Off. But a couple yeah. of years ago, he yes, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But like, Dada was around here. But believe, like, mm. like, the, but they would be because they're doing mm. bigger. See, books. but it's it's yeah. it's subject people like they make some people hate the Dada. Yeah, for sure, they're, sure. They're wrong, but they hate the Dada. <laughs> Definitely wrong. Um, um, like like you get, get the Liam Sharp. You get I mean, Ron Gunny. I like Ron Gunny, but he's not as polished as he used to be. It's, it's, his style is very loose and... Oh, it'd be all the artists, the cover guys. Mm. Mm. It'd be just Art Germ. Yeah, mm. that's so true. And stuff like Art that. Germ. And the Art Germ clones. Peach yeah. Moment. And, and like yeah, that. yeah, you're not a knock on them, but I think that's a different category. Come you know on. what I mean? It's yeah. not the same as... It's not the same as interior no. so, and, and panelling yeah. a book. <laughs> yeah. So Jay Scott's going to be in there again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. And Alex Ross will be in there still. Well, perennial, man. Well... Look at his Hulk covers and look at his yeah. Iron Man covers. Well, uh, out of the last year, my number one probably would have been Joe Bennett. Totally, mm. but that's kind of had to change yeah, yeah. recently. Or oh, the last chance you, you won't get it again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that'd probably be my number one. That's good call. McGuinness will be up there. No, McGuinness oh, is definitely going to be up yeah. there. His Avengers God, stuff McGinnis. recently has been excellent. Yeah. I'd say Bacallo would still be in there. And, um, I love his work. I don't know if I can choose... Oh no, it's um, very yeah. very hard. Because when Wizard died, they brought a, an online version only for yeah. a while. I don't know how long that lasted. Nah. If it's still around, I stopped. Because they, 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 the internet killed them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You've got websites like Newsarama, yeah. Comic Book Movie. Like mm. that's how I got. Yeah. yeah. Basically, that's well, same content. Growing I was gonna say up. we're yep. gonna get to, like, like a whole bunch of other stuff in there that are pretty cool. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Nicholas K. Superman was just sort of announced. Something? Announced in like. And they were talking oh. about there's a whole article about it, yeah, and about picture on too. Tim Burton the, the directing picture? Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, page eighty six. So, which is you know, yeah, the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The test so then, you know, which is oh, excellent. Which is funny Thank looking God back in hindsight. Oh. It should never happen, yeah. but you know. But they had other stuff like um, Last Man Standing, where they pit two superheroes story. against each other. And their opinions of Ooh, they ra- they ranked the Superman movies. Oh, did yeah. they? And just fight two polar bears for no reason. Superman one, five stars. Yes, fair enough. Superman two, four and a half stars. What? Yeah. What? Oh, no. Come on, right. man. Superman two. Yeah. Well, I guess the theatrical. I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I think they're about the same because they've got. They are. I guess it depends on what you value. Mm. When I watched it as a kid, he's punching people. Yes, 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 I yes. I want to see that. I want to see right. him I can, fighting I, Zod. One is probably a better film. But it's just more fun. It's it's, it's it's a bit dull at time. Yes. And I love it, but it's it's, it's and it works. It's long. But yeah, the second one, even as a kid, though, yeah, it you're just, like, this is fun. There's villains. Yes. He fights people. Yes. Yeah. Um, number three, one and a half stars. 
Jesus, and then number four, just one star. I Personally, think, uh, that, that's a bit I would, generous. I think I would probably still put four above three. Though. Three is just—I <laughs> know four is terrible, but at least four again. He fights a super villain, nuclear I, man. Yeah, I have, now I have no. I not, three, not, if, we never, if we never had three, we would never have got off of space. <laughs> and I've, and I've, I know I've seen three. I have no rem- no memory of it. That's Richard Pryor. Yes. Yeah. I have no, yeah, I know. I don't remember anything about it. Wait, which is the one of the sun? Like, four. Four? Okay. Yeah. Why do Wait, I think that Nuclear was three? Yeah. The sun? Yeah, with a sun dude? Yeah, yeah. Where he, yeah, he probably really was a bit pre- pre- He had the nails. He had we the had nails. We had um, he There was two versions of him and he fights himself in the junkyard. What's that's this? three, isn't it? That's no. three. That's yeah, three. That's three. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Four is Nuclear Man. Yeah. Because he doesn't fight. Who's he going to fight? Maybe that's the only thing I remember then. What's the review for the one with Ian Roberts? Not in there, No, no, it was before that. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Last Man Standing, God, Price Guides. The letter section used to be always cool with yeah. the Jim McLaughlin was doing the writing. I think he went off to do... He joined CrossGen? Uh, he went... He joined a company. I know he joined a company. Or maybe Image. Didn't he just do... Oh yeah, maybe. He No, he went and joined a comic yeah. company. Senreich is the one that went with um, yeah, Seth yeah, Green yeah, yeah, to do yeah. Robot Chicken. Yeah. There's a lot of great things. If you never yeah. Wizard, I think Wizard could have survived. Mm-hmm. It just needed to change, and because you, you were going to be you, the news was not important, obviously, but they needed to get a little more serious and have some more in depth mm. sort of interviews Maybe and yeah. look back stuff. If they made it into like a comic format, what? Well, you know, like, they went. Well, they the, well, the death of it was when it went from and... went from Squarebound to Staples. Yeah, 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 it was over then. It was great. They had a draw. Yeah, I was going to mention that. How to draw Spawn. It was great stuff. Tony Daniel doing Spawn. That was was some great great. stuff. Artists sending you pictures. Tells you what action figures, what video games. Oh, what video games. It was custom um, action figures in there too. Yeah, they had everything. Um, We'll look at uh, either more of this one next month, next week, or maybe next issue. New one? New one. New New issue next week. Oh, where's it next time? Alrighty. That was a very long discussion about Wizard. Yes. Now. Deserved it. (laughs) Uh, season finale of What this. If. Oh, yeah. Do you mind, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dave. Season finale of... <laughs> He's going to stab you, dude. <laughs> He's in proximity. Right. Stab stab you. <laughs> season finale of What If. Mm. Um, final episode. Mm. Everything comes together. Mm. Thoughts on that? Um, it, it was, was a, fine. Yeah, it was, a, it was a decent enough finale. It's over. Mm. I... Watching, I just don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Mm. I'm over it. I'm like, I don't... Yeah, it's finished. All right, cool. Um, We missed out on an episode, apparently. Yes, we sure did. Oh, Gamora. Oh, Tony yeah. Stark. Oh. oh, midgets from Game of Thrones. Oh, the, okay. Where the hell did all of this... Oh, and, like, I don't really care about missing a Gamora. So, really. Except as Gamora on Planet yeah. Hulk. Yes. I'm not actually seeing proper Planet Hulk sort of stuff. Like, but I doubt it. I doubt it. But... Like, or don't use her. Use someone else. Mm. Uh, to, if you know that she's a linchpin main part of the character for the back end of the story, cut well, out one of the other st- oh, no, but episodes. I, isn't, if Dave told us it was because the, yeah. the animation house that did that episode... Got hit by COVID hard, so they couldn't... But all the art is no, the no, same. No. Yeah, it doesn't mean they'll get the same people to draw it all, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess. You, know, you have a style. You'd have a model sheet. See, they so look, have 10 episodes. Somebody else... See, D- Dave's doing Gamora... Nitin's yeah. doing the Thor episode, but you're working on the finale already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was weird, but I also don't mind the idea, and I think they probably could have done with more of them, that the whole point of the Watcher sees everything that's infinite, we just didn't see that one. Yeah. That's true. yeah. More of, if there was a couple more, I think that would have worked that we really good seen. for me. That yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, 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 and gives absolutely. you something new in that episode. Yeah. And once again, if plot holes had been filled and spoken about properly... No, it, it, it works yeah, better. Yeah. Oh, I say, sorry, let me, whoa, 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 I'm taking back nailed. It would have worked better. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of plot holes. Mm. Oh, which, where do you want to start? Well, wasn't, um, what's his name? Oh, here we go. Zola? Okay. Yeah, wasn't Zola already, like, in a Ultron, like, outfit? Like, so, like in the shell? He's... No, he was in the main computer. No, yeah, but they, they, they took they, him out. They put him into the first yeah, one, and the idea was supposed one. to go rest, but they couldn't connect because they went off. Yeah, yeah, so away. shouldn't he instantly, like, boot up as soon as, like, Ultron comes back? Yeah, that's true. 
Once he's, you know, in, it's like, once oh, he's in the stratosphere. Uh, here's a new branch. To yeah, but that he may have to just stop transmitting because there was nothing to yeah. connect to. Yeah, but he could be waiting. He could ping. Mm. Like, you he wouldn't know ping when. Ping an IP constantly. <laughs> that, yeah, look, if I'm looking for plot holes, that's down the list. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah, it was a finish, and I'm... Glad it finished? Yeah. That, that Thor episode just soured me so hard. <laughs> I'll beat you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like okay. it was exciting, like the fights and everything, like the, yeah. the, all of that was cool. It was one of the better episodes. Yeah. I like the alternate event, like this pan around camera. Yeah, yeah, that was, cool. Yeah. was cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I just don't care. It's the main thing. Yeah. And uh, if I'm gonna start complaining about stuff too, maybe the thing that maybe annoyed me the most is. So the Watcher just sends Widow back to a whole different mm. Earth? Like, okay, he breaks his thing to save the day. What the... Yep. <laughs> it couldn't be any worse breaking your thing than sending somebody that's dead to a different place that universe. doesn't... Yeah. Oh, oh, you're back now, are you? Okay. And that just felt... That was just shoehorned in because so, that was the only episode that didn't relate. Yeah. Because she goes into the Ant-Man episode. Yeah. Right? And, okay, so the Watcher... Knew that everything was going to happen mm. the way it was, but he chose. He still chose Killmonger. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, going yeah. to betray everybody, yeah. and now he's perpetually has to be sealed in. So, so he did that to to brutalize. He knew it was all going to happen. He knew yeah, it was going to yeah. betray him, and I'm happy for this is how it's going to end. Yeah. yeah, you are dark watching. Yeah, yeah like dark. you couldn't just choose like <laughs> T'Challa, Black Panther, who could just do everything the same as Killmonger, but not he brings be nothing to the table, right? Nothing. And now you have made the multiverse at risk again because yeah. there's an evil guy with all of the infinity mm. stones yeah. locked away in this little pocket dimension. Which doesn't make sense again because he should be able to break out of that dimension like what's he broke through? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again. No, that's <laughs> that's that, like, the show the longer the episodes went on, the more it's just poorly <laughs> written. What? I feel hundred percent. Poorly written. I will I will grant them that they addressed Ultron not just thinking them out of existence. They yes. got a protection spell. Yes. You know, yes. as just just one line. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all I need yeah, in a comic book. Right? That's cool. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. a lot yeah. of extra one lines that would have been great just to <laughs> tie some stuff up. So wait, the bit with I didn't, this is what I didn't get. Stephen Strange swallowed the Soul Stone. Mm-hmm. How come he came back? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was still around at the end. Yeah, I didn't. Unless even... I didn't understand that properly. Yeah, that's true. Well, I didn't even. <laughs> Like when you eat then. something, if you just you swallow a, a twenty cents, you just got to wait a few days. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see Ultron cents. waiting. Hold on, a couple well, of days. I think it was powerful pass. enough that swallowing a soul stone just added to his power a little bit. That was yeah, probably the best part of the episode was yeah. him wigging it, like him just going full demonic. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that was mm. gave a little bit of a that Saying that is what I didn't like about the strange stuff. He's like, until he goes. Full, full yeah. tentacle. Um, There's not much going on. Full right. hentai. He's just Doctor Strange from... He doesn't feel the dark... He's written yeah. the same yeah. way. He's it's not... just Doctor Strange from yeah. the movie. He's not angsty. He's yeah. not kind of like depressed or yeah. anything. It's just Endgame Doctor yeah. Strange. Maybe he's come to terms like being alone. Oh, but... Yeah. Yeah, well, place for a while, you know? Yeah. He went through enough to come to terms finally, I guess, because yeah. he destroyed his own universe. But you got to be a little broken and yeah. a little... But if you got the stones, you could fix it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even if he, if he showed more of like a, if I had that, mm-hmm. I can repair my universe. Mm-hmm. I could bring I, it back. I <sighs> loved the opening Winter Soldier bit. That was so cool. That was, that was, that was my favourite bit of the episode. Yes, it mine was, too. Yeah, pretty much perfect. Mm-hmm. Batroc didn't really look like GSP, though. Nah. It, Which is, it looked that more like cool. G- it, looked, it looked more like Batroc, though. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was great. Straight away, I'm like, oh, she got the thing on and everything. Yeah, like, yeah that's cool. That's good. They're talking about the accounting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that great. Uh, but yeah, it, it is what it is. I I don't know if I'll watch season two. Because hmm. I'm You'll no doubt they're all going to be. Of course, we're going to watch it. We're going to be angry about something. I don't know. <laughs> you watch Captain Carter at least. Yeah. I watch certain episodes. Yeah. I feel like given where we work, we kind of just need to watch it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and she's good. She's like. Her, her, action her, movie would have been like. People will watch that. I'll. <laughs> oh, Agent of Carter. What was the show called? Just Agent, Agent Carter. Agent Carter. Carter. That show was great. Yeah, it was great. She was fantastic. She was fantastic. But like, yeah, imagine there is like a cap running around. I may know. or may not have multiple times said I would watch her reading the phone book, <laughs> as long as it's a different outfit every letter. 
I gotta be. I gotta be visually entertained. Yeah. So the film flashback. Yes, <laughs> October. <laughs> it's time for spooky movies. Spooky, spooky movies. Spoopy. About vampires or the undead was underwater, starring Kristen Stewart. Yeah, that was the horror part. <laughs> that was the only horror part. She was. <laughs> that's Dave, true. We she are was... picking horror, spooky horror movies. FYI, people. Uh, like, Someone watched Alien before. a few times and really yes. liked it, yeah, and, and wanted to make Alien. It wasn't. It, it wasn't but, terrible. But we need to modernize it. We want black underwear, people. Not white, black. <laughs> and an uncomfortable amount of time of that underwear being on screen. I feel like it was just too much. I don't know. Whatever. No, I just I just yeah, don't, I mean, like, I would them being in, at the bottom of the Mariana I Trench, I don't, like, Mariana. you can't do that. Like, I don't care how, I, like, I get it, it's a movie, you can of hand waves, magic, science, in a way. Right. But, right. and like, I don't right. think you can make you a space what? suit, like, like an underwater suit that'll handle the pressure for you to move around. Maybe that, they were talking about before. Thing. They looked great. Yeah, it was like the one thing I thought visually in the movie that mm. looked really cool. But I was like, geez, it was over-designed. Like, what are all these things circles. doing? There's so yeah. much stuff. Okay, so the circles. Uh, if you remember a cartoon from the early 90s called Centurions, yeah. <laughs> where they would attach the rockets and stuff and they fly around. That's that like, little circles. The attachment circle, all the circles. That's, and like, oh, it took me way too long. I think the horror element was Cthulhu in it. And God that's probably look good. the only realistic part of it, because we all know he lives under the water down there. That's <laughs> probably... <laughs> That's, scientifically accurate. That's Poseidon that's, looking that's, dude. Poseidon? Oh, no, it does, to me, I was like... Okay. It's Cthulhu. It's... Ah, Tentacle it's beard. Cthulhu, it's this dude. Look at him. It's him. Oh, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Dave. Fair enough. Poseidon. It's guy, Dave. Okay, it's, okay. Just uh, those tentacles look a That is the most like scientifically beard, accurate part of that movie. Like, no, the generic it. monsters were so... Yeah, yeah I was really that was disappointed. The, yeah, the big bad looked off off amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The little ones look... And there's I, a couple of spits. I wish you could have seen but... it a bit more, but I think it would have cost more money. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, there is no light at the bottom uh, of the ocean. Right the there. whole look of the movie was a problem for me. I get it. Mm-hmm. But the whole, like... It, uh, both... I think both the visual and the writing and Shaw's sure, acting just made the whole thing a bit muddy. I'm yeah. like, what exactly is going on? I know what's going on, but... I want to see know. it. I want to yeah, see yeah. what's going on. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Like, yeah. The bit at the end where the captain, he's falling off the thing and he let them I go. could not like, tell what was happening. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell what was happening. Well, how'd they get up on this yeah. thing? And Oh, they both got pulled. Yeah. Right? They got dragged. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were connected together. Yes, but, but I couldn't see that. It was so muddy. Yes. Both... Dialogue and script yeah, and visuals. I don't get why they turn off the light. Because like if you're that deep down, like the any animal down there wouldn't have eyes to look around. They just sense with like yeah. A, a oh well, of if they have eyes, they'd be really big to yeah. absorb more yes. light, right? Yeah. That's why if yeah. you look at deep sea life, this is what I was really disappointed about. Yeah, you look at deep sea creatures, that giant eyes. They look terrifying. Mm. They're see-through. You can see their organs. Their bioluminescence. Yeah. None of that was used. No, yeah. none. Like you could have made those smaller monsters look so Sounds much creepier. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, like they were just white aliens. If they're see-through, Zenmos, you, know? you yeah. could have used the dangle-like yeah. thing that the like the uh, angler like, fish. That, that could have yes. that, that could have added some horror trope yeah. to it, but mm. it just too humanoid. Yeah. Could you imagine yeah. if it's see-through and it eats somebody? You could have some really yeah. messed up visuals of it digesting people. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just... You could copy-paste that into, like, a scary monster movie yeah. or a space sci-fi movie yeah, 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 and it yeah. would not be out of place. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. Look, it wasn't a terrible movie. It, it, just, wasn't, just, nah. it wasn't a great movie. It nah. definitely wasn't. It's yeah. predictable. Oh, hi. Yeah. yeah. What I saw him doing about it earlier today, one of the things that annoyed me was the subplot of the captain sort of knowing what's going on and being into things, I thought, just went nowhere. Yes, yeah. it did. And because like even at the end when she gets to the other rig yeah. and he's got the map in his locker yeah. and you like and the whole thing where he's getting the daughter's age wrong and okay because where's this gonna was, go yeah because what happened with the and then yeah. even at the start when he's checking on I'm like is there something going on between the two of them yeah. and stuff yeah. as well like but then that went nowhere yeah. as well it's like oh, I don't know. Maybe he saw her as like a daughter because he lost his yeah. maybe maybe and she was the same age I yeah. think he said yeah. um that was weird I didn't I, like us saying this on the way here. I that they did the, the black guy trope. He was first to go. Yeah. I know it seemed like a bit of self-sacrifice, but 
I just yeah. like it's been done so often, yeah. and and it was a crap way to go too. Like, oh man, it was probably besides Cthulhu the only other realistic Vic you would yeah. freaking yeah. implode. Yeah, that was, that was one of my favorite that, movies. That was extra. Right. It was just shouldn't shouldn't have been him. Yeah, it probably should have been TJ. Hundred yes. percent should have been TJ. <laughs> yeah. The movie got better when he was gone. Oh, yes. as long as Emily survived, it's all good. Yes, yeah. but she was the best bit of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well she's. She's freaking out and she has a dog at home. you got to go back to the dog. <laughs> the, 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 she's got this really accent. natural oh, delivery. The accent, yes. Yeah. yes. You she, know, the way she, it feels yes. real. Yeah, it doesn't feel like she's reading lines. Compared like to like, yeah. Twilight. Yeah, yeah. Good, oh. Like good actress versus oh, it's, it's, mediocre actress. Yes. Especially yeah, when she's try, like, tr- trying to play her role of a smart person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did like how it just got right into it in the beginning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know? yes. Like the, the chaos just right into yeah. it. No. I did actually said that to now. Like, oh, okay, here we go. We're in. Yes. Yeah. Like there's no mucking around here. No, not too much set up. Let's just jump in. Because I thought initially it was going to be like she's having some sort of dream because that's what they sort yeah. of referenced in the beginning. Yeah. You know, you don't know if anything and was real or not. And they're running so cocoon, deep. cocoon and they're like, yeah. you know, locked no. down. Yeah. yeah. As I said, had good moments. Potential is its main thing. Yeah. yeah. You're like, this could be like... It's a better in the casting, hands, it's a better yeah, writing. in the hands of some better talents, mm-hmm. both behind the screen and in, in front. Yeah, definitely. I think definitely. could have put it over the top. Yes, Dave, calm down. <laughs> I so, loved how their helmets just disappeared though when necessary. When they took them off, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Where'd they go? Oh, you just got that under the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Just pick it up and then like shake it yeah. out. I guess nothing's gonna drip on you yeah, when you're, you're sealed up in there. Yeah, sure. And like, it's clearly like. Like a HUD display? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, like... Yeah. The only time we've sort of been down at the bottom in real life is a really heavy sub with two people in it, like really heavy and really thick, really thick glass that just sunk to the bottom and could not move. Yeah. What they only could see was just... At the window. Yeah. <laughs> and the lights only went so far and you could see what... And, you know, in the range of the light. Yeah. Which was, you know... That, so I can give it, not forgive, but I can let it go mm. that we've got a mining thing at the in of the Mariana Trench. Because it's the same thing when you watch a sci-fi movie; they're in space and they're yeah. walking. Like, yeah, like, like, like okay, oh, you know, possible, but you're gonna spend like fifty million dollars to film zero G somehow. They did it in yeah. two thousand one. Yes, like that was just, great. Just spin the yeah. thing. Spin go, the thing. Yeah. Spin the yes, spaceship. Yes, 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 Done. Like going back to the I love one the, in, in, sorry, the monsters. Yeah. Sorry, no, no in, in science fiction movies, yes. when they show the ship rotating, yes. I'm like, all right, cool, gravity, there you go. Yeah. That's all you need to show me. Because I get they would have been eaten or whatever. Even though I've seen some more marine life, weird marine life yes. in there. Yes. There was no, no fish, Nothing. right? Nothing. And I get, like, obviously the idea would be they they've been eaten by yeah. the things, but they wouldn't necessarily eat everything yes. for, you know, whatever reason. Give me something. It looks so barren. Mm. It's like one of the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Where you could have... Could have had some cool stuff. Mm. Definitely. I wish Rain. I could just sing just a, a one clear shot of Cthulhu. Yeah. Yeah. Just right at the end, one clear yeah. shot. But well, sort of, but yeah, it was too dark. And... She'd get yeah. at the start of every Rick and Morty episode. I don't know why you couldn't get it on this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And I could have done it without the preachiness subtext too of, oh, uh, it's our own fault for drilling into the earth. Nature's coming back. That's oh, I, mean, I didn't it. get it that much from there. Like, I, I was just like, that, that, that. I don't know. Why well, can't I just have a monster? Cool, well, I get it. They've drilled into their home and a monster come out and eat them. Hmm. I mean, I was like... <sighs> <laughs> Average, five. I got five. Ooh. Alrighty. I, if it's under five, it means I hated it. <laughs> really? Okay. Nah, I, I, It's uh, average. For me to hate I mean, something, it has to be a one or a two. Yeah, I'd go f- maybe four. four. Yeah. I'll go five. I hate horror movies in general. So. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna love like this then. Yeah. You're gonna love his one. <laughs> uh, I'd probably go for four because I was entertained. Yeah, and I did like. I, I, yeah. I was not like I'm like hurry up and finish. Yeah, yeah. I was, well, t- towards the end, I was a bit. Yeah, because yeah. you knew just, where it was. Yeah, the yeah, end yeah. was so yeah. predictable. I guess. Um, yeah, and if you got a cool looking spacesuit, I'm yeah. down for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I remember oh, Centurions about it. So that, that was a bonus. <laughs> uh, Lego studs on the suit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, there was a lot more minuses than pluses, hence why the four. Like, yeah. There was a lot of things I liked about it, but then there was a lot of things that just didn't work out. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Alrighty, next week. Next Nitten. week. Me. I'm picking a movie uh, called Vicious Fun. Vicious Fun. Vicious Fun. It's a Shudder exclusive, so if you've got Shudder, you can check it out. Yeah. You can buy. You can get a seven-day trial, check mm-hmm. it out. Cool. It's a uh, horror movie-only streaming service. 
Mm. We just got released in Australia last year. Like it's used in America, mm. obviously. But I mean, it's about giving it a trial oh, for me. So I don't use as much as I as, as I should, course. but I do like to go on and sometimes like I'll watch this. Yeah, I'll watch that. And, and then I watch it. Yeah, yeah. Five bucks, watch it. Yeah. Five bucks twenty a month or something yeah. too. Oh really? And they've yeah. got you know it's a movie. It's not just movies. It's a TV series and stuff. Yeah, and like the um, man, yeah. New tales of the what do you call it? Crypt. Crypt. Yeah. The tales. Whatever the fuck it's called. Um, Tales of the Crypt. Yeah, that new. Yeah, new creep show. That's the word. I was creep, show. Ah, creep show. Yeah. Creep show. Creep show is what I was looking for. Because I can't ten bucks for two months worth. Mm. It'd be alright, you know. Yeah, I might. Have, yeah. So. Anyway, Vicious it, Fun. Vicious Fun. It's a movie sort of in set in the eighties about a dude who writes for a horror movie magazine. Like who, Gregoria? Sort of, but yeah. it's not. You know, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Horror movie magazine. He's like a movie horror movie aficionado. Yeah, yeah. Who gets drunk and passes out in like a broom closet in a in a restaurant, and when he wakes up, it's a support group for serial killers. Cool. Okay. It's like going on there, so he sort of kind has of to blend the... in. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. And, but then he gets caught, and then I like. In, ensuing stuff yep, happens. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It's, it's not as serious. It's it's very silly. Yeah. Tongue in cheek. Tongue, tongue in cheek. cheek. You know, it's not making fun of it, but it's it knows what it is. Poking, you know, it's poking it yeah. with a sort of stick. And you were saying if you're gonna watch it, probably don't watch the trailer because don't watch the trailer. It's like one of those trailers where yeah. it just shows yeah, you everything. Yeah. Right. But this is fun. I liked it. I watched it recently. I'll watch it again because it's just a silly little fun movie. Like it's good little kills in it. The <laughs> Like and if you got all the all the serial killers are like sort of horror movie trope like serial killer tropes, oh, so you got like a Jason trope and cool, you got like cool, a cool, 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 cool. government right. sort of trope and a clown and like you yeah. know stuff like that. So oh, it's cool. cool, like the Jason Bateman type. No, no, sounds a bit to me like um, Cabin in the Woods. Mm, mm. Mm. But it's, yeah, but it's not as serious because that's more serious. This is, is, it? This, is, is it? this is this is more tongue in cheek and like Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. Besides being self-referential, yeah, it that's is true. pretty, pretty straight. Yeah. yeah, like you don't Especially know what the cabin. The... Yeah, the cabin bits, and you got stuff, you know, with the people in the, you know, yeah. with the control room. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's just uh, Hemsworth's death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, up until he hits that <laughs> the edge of the screen, yeah, 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 yeah. you're like, what the hell's going what on? What is like, going what on? Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then you're like, what the hell is yeah. going on? But which is fun. Next week. Yeah, cool. cool, cool. Uh, Can't wait for that. All right, that wraps up um, <laughs> this episode. Hopefully, uh, we see you guys in store yep. soon. Yep. Um, and until then, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.